Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 3. Episode 3. Are we watching Episode 3? Let me make sure. No, we are watching Episode 4, actually. Damn, good thing I fucking checked that. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I would have saw it. Like, as soon as I went to go watch it, it would have it said that I already watched Episode 3. But okay, but anyway, last episode ended had a very interesting ending you know Tyrion and Varys were they're on their way to see Khaleesi's right but Tyrion's like I need to get the fuck out of this carriage or I'm gonna just off myself you know so Varys is like no it's a bad idea it's a horrible idea if we leave because we like who knows who's gonna recognize you and everything you know but Tyrion's like I don't give a fuck dude I don't give a fuck I need to get absolutely fucking wasted right now and so they found a brothel and you know they were just doing their thing they were just getting faded having a good time you know and then Tyrion went to go take a piss and then someone came behind him and Tyrion's like oh, okay I'm almost done buddy and then it turns out it was fucking Jorah right and Jorah made a very interesting comment he said I'm taking you to the queen right so I I'm assuming he means Khaleesi's by that like I'm taking you to Khaleesi's because she is the queen unless he's talking about a different queen so but i think it's just an excuse for jorah to see khaleesi's again because he got exiled so he's gonna take Tyrion the khaleesi's as like an excuse to see her again you know but i i don't think it's going to be a good enough reason for her to be like yeah jorah come yeah come be on our side again you know because like he did fuck her over pretty damn hard like he did kind of portray her back in season one so you know, and the guy he was conspiring with against Khaleesi's with was Varys, and Varys is there now. So I don't know. He's trying to like prove himself again to Khaleesi's, but I don't. I don't know if it's gonna work. So, and then, so and then, okay, Sansa is getting married to fucking Ramsay. So it's like, all right, that's fucking, that's sick. You know, like okay, I really hope. Ramsey's at least a good dude to her. He seems like he he might be. Like obviously we know he's a fucking piece of shit to Theon. I mean Reek. But you know, when he puts it on, he puts on the act, he seems like a good dude at least. To like people he respects. You know, so I I don't know, maybe, maybe. And then John being an absolute savage, cut that dude's fucking head off. I think his name was Janos. I think his name was Janos. It doesn't matter because he's fucking dead now, though. But it, whatever, it doesn't matter. He's fucking dead. So uh, that guy was such a fucking bitch. I hate, I hated him so much. Cause like, dude, t oh my god, he acted like he was such tough shit. And then when it really came down to it, he's a fucking bitch. He ran away during, uh, when Mance attacked the wall. He fucking ran away. Fuck that guy. All right, and it's because John tried to give him like an order because John's a new commander now, but he was like, no, fuck you and your order, you know? And then John's like, all right, buddy, gotta make you an example of everyone. So John's a savage, you know? And Marge is doing a phenomenal job of just manipulating Tom to try and get, so to say, the fuck out of King's Landing. You know, he's like, she was like, is your mother happy here? And like, he knows she's really not. So now he's like, he's trying to convince her to go back to Castle Rock. And because like that's that's where she was like that's where she was the last time she was happy, you know. And it's like Tommen's not forcing her out. He's like, I know, mother. Like I genuinely want you to go because I genuine I genuinely want you to be happy, you know. And it's because Marge is planting that seed in his head. So, and then we got to see Lancel and his high sparrow cult shit. That was weird. That was just weird. I I don't know. <laughs> We'll learn more about them later on. But anyways, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this episode of Game of Thrones. If you would like to watch the full-length and cut version of this reaction, that will be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes will also be on Patreon. So, let's get started. Oh! Oh, Jorah. Uh-oh. At least you paid him. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Is that Estimon? Tarth, said Jamie. Oh, he's in Tarth. He's thinking of Big B. The Dornish are crazy. Hmm. All they want to do is fight and fuck. Fuck and fight. You should be happy to go. Yeah, that sounds like a Bryn. The family. 
Nice. Hmm. Ron didn't know that. Why not send 40 of me? Or an army? Unlike most folks, you've actually got one. You gotta be stealth. Yeah, exactly. You gotta be stealthy about it. Explain what you're doing here. Yeah, I mean, you could. It's personal for Jamie. He's trying to. Pr it's personal. That's why. It's for Cersei. He's trying to make her happy. You set your brother free, didn't you? Yep. I bet your sister didn't like that. Nope. That's why he's doing this. Paris set him free. Hmm. Give him my regards. Feel like. He will be murdered my father. Uh, I'll split him in two. What? Jamie, no, you won't. I thought Jamie was on his side, but I guess Cersei's kind of getting to him. I mean, Jamie is, is ride or die for Tyrion, but he did kill. He did kill their his dad. Their dad, so. The soul grows smaller and smaller. Not small enough. You're next. As the chosen representative of the seven. An honor mm. ever wished for. Which is why you were chosen. Okay. You say if I told you of a great sinner in our very midst. <laughs> May the father judge him justly. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? What are we doing here? Help me! Help me! Nope. Nope. God, dude, this dude, these fucking high sparrows are getting. Bro, they need to be god. They need to be killed. This is going too far. They're going too far. God, no. What are they gonna do, Loras? No. Get your hands off, Sir Loras of House Tyrell. You have broken the laws of gods and men. Fuck off, dude. Justice. No. That's who Cersei was talking about. Why is my brother in a cell? Yeah. Oh, he has no fucking clue. I didn't order it. We both know who did. Cersei. Arresting my brother is her revenge. Yep. Aren't you and mother getting along? Fuck no. Yeah. Yes, but it's all fake, okay? Oh, my sweet. Sweet king. <laughs> She's going to explain the game to him. I'll set him free for you. <laughs> uh, all right, Talman. Let's see if we foot down. This is where you need to be kind of like Joffrey. Did I arrest him? No, the fucking sparrows did. But y you armed the faith militant. Y you gave the high sparrow an army. Yeah. I told you I'm not holding, Sir Loras. You're the king. Dog. Cersei. No, he'll release the poor boy. Stop doing this, dude. I fucking this is shit that pisses me off about Cersei. Okay, if I'm Tommen, oh my god, dude. I'm demand. Yeah, I'm demanding lore. I'm I'm having my fucking nice guard to kill all these people right now. I'm having a war within the city right now. I'm not saying shit. I'm having them all killed. I'm fucking wiping this high sparrow bullshit out. I this shit pisses me off. And we'll clear out this rebel. Tommen, do it. You mean kill them? Yes. Here at the step. Yes. What do you do, Talman? Yeah. You don't want to lose. You don't want to lose your city to the people either. We'll find another way. Oh my God. Got cold feet. <sighs> he's, he's too good of a kid. He's too innocent. But yeah, you don't want your people to have a revolution against you either. So. Will you come back later? I need to be with my family, Your Grace. Ah, uh, that's tough. Yeah. That's tough. It's not like Tommy just doesn't know what to do, man. He just he just doesn't know what to do. It's right. He's trying to take Marge's side, but he doesn't want to kill people. I'm okay. I if I was Tommy, I wouldn't have them killed for that reason. I'd have them killed because they're fucking going through my city and fucking destroying shit. Like, 
They're causing violence in my city. I'm having them killed for that, not because they're holding Solaris. How many men does this Lord Mason have to send us? More than Lord Wibberley. Who is it? He didn't say the name and John looked at it weird. Not him. I know. I'm sorry, but we need men and supplies. And Roose Bolton's the warden oh. of the... Uh. Uh. And we can't get more men without help from the warden of the north. Fuck. Yeah. That's facts. Bro, pull a Walder Frey and just be hella cool to Roose Bolton. And then just kill him first chance. Or no, use him for whatever you can. Get his, like... Use him as much as possible, and then you snake him so fucking hard. But I, yeah, for John, you can't have any bias on the Night's Watch. No matter what happened outside of it, it's like, the Night's Watch is number one priority. So if you kill a Roost Bull in there, fucking over the Night's Watch. Let me show you what you're fighting for. You're going to show me some vision in the fire? Yes. No magic. Just life. Just as a wop. <laughs> oh, dude, oh, what the fuck? I thought she was gonna do that. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> Dude, I was gonna make a joke like, she's gonna take John and just get naked. And. <sighs> and she did it before I could fucking say it. I don't think Stannis would like that very much. Mm hmm. And then we shouldn't tell him. Or she's been cheating on Stannis. Why? I swore a vow. That you already broke? I loved another. Yeah, okay. The dead don't need lovers. I know. Mm-hmm. But I still love her. Oh. You won't break John. You will not break him. You know nothing, Jon Snow. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I feel that was like an inside thing between him and Yeager. No, literally no one has ever said that besides Yeager. So how does she know that? No way that she just said that because of coincidence. She, she probably like tapped into all the memories or some shit. She was when like he touched her, she was touching him. Russell, I told them all to go to hell. He's a real one. Because you did not belong across the world with a bloody stone man. You were the Princess Serene of House Baratheon. Fuck yeah, Stannis. Stannis is look, he's a real one, bro. And you are my daughter. He never lost faith. And she was cured. Now she loves him. Probably made her really happy hearing that too, because like she feels like no one gives a fuck about her. And him telling her that made her really happy because it shows her how much he cares. Dressed for riding. I am. Where are you going? King's Landing. Mm -mm. Why? Cersei sent for me. Oh. We mustn't let her sniff out any trouble. You can't leave me here. I know how hard it is to live with people you despise, believe me. <laughs> Here's a larger army. He's the finest military commander in Westeros. Mm -hmm. A betting man would put his money on Stannis. As it happens. Stannis minus, Stannis minus 500. I'm taking that. Stannis takes Winterfell. He rescues you from the most despised family in the north. Yeah, Sansa, you'll be good. Don't trip. Then you will take this Bolton boy, Ramsay, and make him yours. Either way, works out pretty good for her. His father frightens me. Oh, you should. He's a dangerous man. Kill your brother. Okay, bro. I mean, yeah, either way, it, it's going to be hers either way, so. <laughs> yeah, you can't row. <laughs> Bronze, like, you don't wake up early enough. That would have been a shit way to die. Yeah, you don't wake up early enough. Die in life. I want my death to be boring. Damn. How do you want to go? You know, I'm sick of the woman right now. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, they found. They were. They were found. Ah, oh, no. How many you count? Four. How many do you think you can take? One. If you smell. Yeah. yeah. Fucked in the ass. 
Alright, alright. Yeah, bro, they definitely saw them. What the fuck? Glad we found you. Who are you? We're just we're just lost, bro. That's all. Where do where do we go? We're just lost. It's a near thing, really. I thought the sharks would get us. I could have sworn those were shark fins. Dolphins, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn, Ron! Damn, that was nice, Ron. Oh, that's already two. That's already two. Come on, Ron. Oh, I knew it. I knew he was gonna get the horse. That one should be slow enough. Fuck. All right, Jamie, let's see here. Come on, Jamie. Go on, Jamie. <laughs> Fuck, Jamie. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, he could do that. He could totally do that. Uh, yep. Damn. I mean, he did it, but like... Luck. Yeah, he got kind of lucky. You had a wonderful teacher. Because <laughs> Braun taught him. But like, I wish Jamie still had his hand, but then he wouldn't be the same guy he is now. I wish Jamie went through all the same adversity without just not lose his hand, just so he's still raw as hell of fighting, but still the same honest person he is now. That was a cool shot. Mama. Oh, it's her. Boy. Queen Cersei hmm. loves her children. We have one of them. You may have a problem. <gasps> oh, what the? Wait, what the fuck? They buried? Ah, oh, they buried him? Ah, and scorpions. He told me he smuggled Jamie Lannister into Dorne. Fuck. If he gets to her before we do, we lose our only chance for revenge. Fuck, it's a race. We must choose Doran's way and peace, or my way and war. Yeah, if you kill Cersei's daughter, if you kill her, it starts a war automatically, and it's gonna force Dorne to fight. The prince doesn't want to, but by her doing that, it automatically starts a war, so they have to fight then. Ah! Oh. I made my choice long ago. All right. <laughs> My sister's in Westeros. Not going there. Yeah, so that's what he thinks. He was sent by Cersei, because there's a bounty on him, so... You said you were taking me to the Queen. I am. Nope. Queen Daenerys Targaryen. That. Yeah. The Queen I serve. Bare sigil breastplate. You're Jorah Mormont. Oh, fuck, dude. Tyrion's hella good. Why would you be right? And why would she have sent you away? Ah, uh, dude, Tyrion's too good. You were spying on her, weren't you? Yep. I was drunk through most of the small council meetings, but it's all coming back. <laughs> Same. She found out, didn't she? Found out and exiled you. Mm-hmm. One might even say desperate. Oh, it's extremely desperate. <gasps> Fuck. Or you set them to butchering each other for sport. Your grace today is the traditional start of the fight. Still not a fan of the cockfights. Not cockfights. <laughs> Sons of Harpy. Wait. They looked at the girl in episode one who helped kill the other guy. Yep, they set them up. They set them up. Fuck. The unsolid are raw, but there's just too many. Oh. Oh, that's Grey Worm! I was about to say. Dude, please, Grey Worm, please don't die. Dude, Grey Worm's fucking nice. I was about to say, I don't know if Grey Worm is in this or. Dude, Sebastian, don't die either. Do not die either, please. 
didn't feel that shit. He's good. He didn't feel shit. Ah, ah. Red Room's a fucking tank, bro. No, there's too many. No. Oh. Severus in here? Yeah, Severus in here. But there's still there's still a lot. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, there's like seven or eight of them. Oh. Dude, it's a very strange gray worm. They got it. They got this. No, no, no. Everyone, but like he did, it's embarrassing. He got fucked up. No. Fuck, they both died. Wow. Bro, I fucked with Sebastian so hard too, so much. And Grey Worm was just. Grey Worm was just a real one, bro. Oh my god. Dude, Khaleesi is gonna be fucking pissed. <laughs> Good, she needs to be. Alright, so, in this episode of Game of Thrones, so Cersei basically had the High Sparrows. She leveraged the High Sparrows to take Loraz as like a counter move to marge and it's like dog like we know what you're doing sir like it's obvious what you're doing it's not like subtle or anything it, it's not one of those chess moves that like tywin would have made you know it's more of just like a, a that's a checkers move it's not a chess move it's a checkers move right and obvious and it's like it's clear as day to everyone what she's doing and marge wants tom wanted tom in to go and free laura as which Tommen fully 100%, I believe Tommen 100 fully percent wanted to free Loraz. It's just like he didn't want to kill anyone because he's not a cold-blooded killer. Like, like imagine if that was Joffrey, bro. Joffrey would have had everyone murdered right there. And like, okay, that's like the only good thing about Joffrey was he wasn't afraid to put his goddamn foot down and have people killed or whatever. And okay, I'm not saying Tommen should have had them killed just to get Loras back he should have he should have had them killed because they're fucking ruined they're ruining the fucking city okay i would have them killed just for that but you know like dude get this fucking cult bullshit out of my goddamn city i don't want this bullshit here get out of here you have no fucking you have no right to go and do this okay get your freemason shit and get out of my city okay so <clears throat> But now, okay, now Marge is like, well, Tommen's not going to be able to do anything. Because, like, you know, he is the king, but he is also just a very innocent boy. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's he's super inexperienced. And it's like, fuck. So Marge, she needs to go see her family, so she's going to go do her thing. Okay, and then Jamie and Braun, they made it to Dorne. They had a little fight. But, you know, Jamie had to fight one guy, and it's like, dude, Jamie's so washed. It hurts to see. It get hurt. It really hurts to see how washed Jamie is. You know? <sighs> no, he's not even, like, washed. He just doesn't have his fucking hand. You know, it's like, I made, like, the analogy when his hand first got cut off was like, well, he could just learn how to fight with his left hand. But it's like, it's not that easy, bro. It's not that easy. Because, like, the best way I could relate to it is, like, throwing something right just just throwing stuff like a football with like my right hand easy no problem i could throw no problem but with my left hand no shot i will i could learn how to throw it my left hand like sure i could practice and get better at it but it will never be as good as my right hand ever so i get it in that sense you know now jamie just has to be a lot smarter about how he fights like yeah he used his hand to block the sword and got him right you know i feel like he didn't know he could do that like he didn't think of, he didn't think to do that at all because like 
instinctively you would never do that because like well he was never trained to fight with that hand you know because like if thinking he still has his hand he'll never fucking do that but i feel like it was more of just like an accident thing too like he just did it out of like reflex and it just oh shit it worked out you got lucky you know but then flash forward to the other side of the beach so ella she really wants revenge for Odin's death and it's like i don't blame her i do too but so she wants to start a war with king's landing and her plan is just to kill cersei's daughter because that will that will definitely start a war you know and but Oberyn's brother, the prince, doesn't want to start a war intentionally. He'd rather just keep peace. But if she kills his daughter, I mean, if she kills Cersei's daughter, then that's starting a war that he has to fight, you know, because King's Landing is coming for them, you know, and it's like, well, fuck, now I have to do it. So that's that's her plan. But now they know Jaime and Bronn are there to go get her back. You know, they found they found that out by someone on the boat. So it's really just a race to see who can get her first now. Which, okay, I want, I kind of want a war to start, but at the same time, I don't want her to die. Like, she's just a kid. She has nothing to do with it. She doesn't need to die, but I do kind of, I low-key do want a war. So I'm like 50-50 on like who gets to them, who I want to get to them. And then Jor is on his way with Tyrion to Khaleesi's. But, uh, I mean, at least Sebastian, like, dude, dog put in work. Sebastian was a dog, bro. He had, he had too much dog in him. <sighs> Fuck, dude. But, I mean, it's Game of Thrones. Like, it, everyone's gonna die. So, it's like, why? <sighs> you know, like, we know they're gonna die. But it's just like, fuck, I don't want them to, you know? And it's like, fuck. Okay, and then, like, with Baelish and Sansa, it's like, Sansa's in a pretty good situation, I would say. Because it's like, okay no matter what happens she's probably gonna be okay so if stannis fails to take over the north then cool she just stays where she is and then she's still if stan if stannis fails cool she's just married the ramsey still has a really good rank she's she's chilling dude she's chilling okay she's chilling where she is she's she's gonna be fine <clears throat> but then if stannis wins she'll be wardeness i think that's what he said of the north which okay cool she's cool either way you know, but Baelish is on. He's gonna go back to King's Landing, keep, you know, keep Cersei happy, keep her, like, try and keep Cersei from worrying too much. See, I think it's so fucking funny how Baelish is just playing every single goddamn side. He's literally just playing everyone at this point. Like, he's literally the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He he's the GOAT. And one thing I really love to see is just Jorah and Tyrion, like, together. Like, that's just a combination you never thought you'd fucking see in the show. Like, you never thought those two characters would interact with each other. Now, like, it's random, but it's fucking awesome. And it's just like, you know, Tyrion's just gonna annoy the fuck out of him. So that's why you fucking bitch slapped him and made him shut the fuck up. It's like when we saw Bran and Sam together. Like, dude, that's so random. I mean, like, kinda not. I mean, I like, guess. I guess it makes sense. But speaking of Bran, where the fuck has he been? Like, last time we saw him, he found the Three Eyed Raven. And then, like, that's, that's it. That, last time we saw him was, like, season four, episode 10. I think it was i think it was episode 10. yeah we haven't seen brandon in a minute i want to see what happens with him because like that was an interesting storyline there when Tyrion did say oh we're when varies did tell Tyrion, oh we're going to see khaleesi's i immediately thought like oh yeah how's he gonna interact with all of them and then i was like oh how's he gonna interact with jorah but then i was like oh wait jorah's not there anymore fuck but we, we get it now we get it which is pretty awesome so i don't know i'm pretty curious i'm still really curious to see if khaleesi's gonna be like you know what you're pardoned you're, like like Tyrion says like do you think she'll pardon you you know I'm kind of curious to see how like she'll how she'll react to it you know like me yeah maybe she'll like accept him accept Tyrion but then just be like all right Jorah you're pardoned pardoned from life you know no, not not really but I <laughs> I just thought oh my god it was so fucking funny when in uh, Ragnarok when he goes you're pardoned pardoned from life <laughs> she's not gonna kill him she's like, okay cool thank you now get the fuck out of here some shit like that but but yeah that was game of thrones season five episode four comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching